Greetings, Earthlings. Today I want to talk about something I normally don't and have a little fun with it. Today, I'm going to be talking about 10 commanders that make me want to kick a baby. First, we've got Ghost Shintai of Life's Origin. Now, I've had the displeasure of facing this monstrosity, mainly on Arena, and when I tell you that being on the receiving end of this is like being an orphan at Christmas time who gets the honor of watching everyone else have a good time with their parents and the presents they bought them while you're sitting there dirty and unloved. It's like seeing someone revolting in a porno, because even though it pains you to watch it, you sit there hoping for an outcome that won't make you want to pluck your eyes out. And if that's not enough, trying to get rid of this thing, or anything else for that matter, is like stepping on an anthill, only for the entire colony to pour out of the side like slapping a teenager in the face. If you play this as your commander, I hope you step on a Lego. Next we've got Oloro, Ageless Ascetic. The epitome of I was eminence before it was cool, the man with the dick so large that it requires its own throne. Never have I met a commander that draws so much ire from quite literally just sitting there. He's like the Stephen Hawking of magic, and the fact that he's an esper means that it's over before you can even say thank you daddy. Life loss? Yeah, maybe any sliver of a will to live you have left. If you play Aloro as your commander, I hope your chicken nuggets get freezer burnt. Next we've got Yorian Sky Nomad. Part of why this monstrosity draws my ire is because by the time I can even think to kick the baby, it's already gone so I'm left confused and bewildered like a white guy in the ghetto. Azorius and by proxy Blue Dex already have a bad enough habit of winning by boring you to death like someone's grandpa talking about how the best game he played as a kid was eating mud because he was born during the Great Depression. If I wanted to sit there watching things entering and exiting repeatedly at a rapid rate I would just... I don't know, pay attention while I'm brushing my teeth. If you play this as your commander, I hope every picture you ever hang is permanently crooked. Next we've got Attracts a Praetor's Voice. How to say, I don't know how to build decks so let's have this monstrosity play the deck for me without actually saying it. Super friends? Yeah, maybe the current state of the DCEU. Infect? You must hate having friends. Just admit that you want everyone to hate you and move on with your day. If you've had the displeasure of facing this glorified eldritch prostitute, then you know how many years off of your life it can take off because just like a crick deck or a back alley hooker, you're only paying with your life. If you play this commander, I hope your firstborn develops a cow lick in a really inconvenient spot so they can never have a good looking haircut. Next we've got Maldrotha the Grave Tide. If you want something that makes you feel dirtier than using a bathroom in a punk venue, or having to dive head first into a dumpster because a crack head through your sandwich in there with your wedding ring attached to it, then you must be a Maldrotha player. Not only that this glorified sewer rat love playing in the trash, but it subjects you to it as well by throwing its own feces at you. If you've had to play against this type of player, then I can only compare it to having to scrape a dead possum off the road, only for it to not be dead and give you rabies. If you play this as your commander, I hope your facial hair grows in patchy. Next we've got Baral, Chief of Compliance. If you play this- Counter! If you have- Counter! Fucking- This dildo of a commander is what you get when you have a kid who invites all of his friends over just to watch him play with his toys and snot all over the rug. How to say fuck everybody but me in two words or less. Much like a Trump supporter, there's not much to say about this bumpkin because everything you could say just gets shut down because to him, having an opinion is like having all your teeth in a house that isn't on wheels. If you play this as your commander, I hope you develop the urge to laugh at really inappropriate moments. Next we've got Gears and Star and Keller Morph. One would think that having three arms would be useful, but not when each of those three arms are repeatedly punching you in the dick in rapid succession. Gears and Starn is the epitome of being bitten by a horde of mosquitoes, but the mosquitoes are the size of your head. And they don't just suck your blood, oh no, and they won't stop sucking when you smack them because they'll just smack you back so hard that you'll vomit out of places you didn't know you could do so. Damage multipliers? No need when every blow dart shot at you is laced with arsenic and has a taser attached to it. If you play this as your commander, I hope you step in a puddle with socks on. Next we've got Aragorn the Unifier. Do you want a commander that gets excited over colors? Do you want a commander that comes off like a neglected child who wants nothing more than to take a scalpel to your Achilles? Facing off against this horse riding jack off is the equivalent of watching someone lather themselves in baby oil and slip and slide through a Walmart at the speed that I can only describe as a turbo powered wheelchair. The ire this commander draws in my blood is enough to fill a community pool and drown everyone involved. It's enough to make me want to eat a bowl of screws just so I can crap out a sword and ram it through my head. If you play this as your commander, I hope the only way you ever listen to your favorite song is sung by Kids Bop. Next we've got Magda Brazen Outlaw. 
Have you been playing an RPG and have had dwarves throwing shit at you? Well, what if the dwarves were throwing bloody dragons at you? If you've ever had the experience something so minuscule wields so much power, then you were either present on Epstein Island, or you've had the displeasure of facing this monstrosity of a short person. The rate at which this hellspawn can crap out dragons is enough to put x lax out of business. It's enough to make you question everything you thought you knew in life and move away to a remote location in the middle of Africa. If you play this as your commander, I would be getting an itch that you can't reach. And to end this steaming list off, we've got Morophon the Boundless. Don't have a commander for your tribal decks? Psych! This eldritch monstrosity that looks like a manifested wad of chewing gum that broke free from the underside of a diner table is enough to make you want to not only flip a table, but pick it up and slide down a hill on it that's made of sharp stones, so you just hear scraping the whole way while a seagull constantly pecks at your head and craps on your shoulder. The amount of displeasure I've had facing against this weird deer of a modern folktale is only comparable to the displeasure I feel when I have to eat weak old back and cheese because I was too stubborn to go get fresh food and now I'm paying for my poor life choice. If you play this as your commander, I hope someone replaces your Oreos fillings with toothpaste and a pube. Now if you enjoyed this list, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know if I'll do more than this. This is just something I kind of thought of doing on a whim. I don't actually hate these commanders, but they're definitely commanders I could live without. They're definitely commanders that make me feel like I'm making poor life choices when I face against them. And if you actually play these commanders, well then I hope you're getting your money's worth because I don't ever foresee myself playing these commanders, but yeah. So, <laughs> with all that out of the way and without further ado, I bid thee farewell and misfortune.